Hey everybody, Mike here. I was sitting here updating some of my first aid stuff, so I thought maybe I would do a quick video and share some of it with you. Uh, the job I have, uh, I'm around glass all the time, I'm around metal and sharp objects all the time, and I'm always traveling on the road uh, down the highway like 200 days out of the year. So I have pretty extensive uh, medical kit that I, first aid kit that I take with me. Uh, this is the small one. I keep that in the cab of the van with me. And then this is the larger one I keep back in the back. So I'm just going to go through both of these uh, real quick. This one is probably usually the first one I would grab for anything small. Uh, some band-aids in here. Uh, some gauze pads of various sizes, a little bit of tape. Some alcohol prep pads. And then I have some 4x4 four four gauzes. I got a tweezers uh, in there, you know, things to get out, uh, splinters, stuff like that. A pair of gloves. Uh, I always have this one hanging up behind my seat. Uh, this little bag is attached to it. And in this little bag, uh, this is kind of my poison stuff. Uh, poison ivy cleanser, uh, insect sting relief, uh, uh, protection cream for like uh, insects, kind of like off. So that usually goes in that bag and it gets attached to this and it hangs behind my seat. And then back in the back, I have this bag, which I just picked up. Uh, everything was in an ammo can, so this is definitely an upgrade. But this is actually a fishing tackle box. And uh, I bought it for, the, for all the different compartments. Uh, you can see in here I have burn cream, triple antibiotic ointment, uh, some different uh, sizes of band-aids, some neosporin, some hand sanitizer in there. In this one, just miscellaneous stuff uh, I use on the road. Um, suntan lotion, oral gel, uh, you know, for toothaches, stuff like that. Anti-itch cream uh, for bug bites and things. I also have a pair of uh, fingernail clippers in there. Some uh, bliss sticks and things like that I don't really use. And then a couple more band-aids in there. So this is kind of uh, some pepto uh, In addition to that, I have burn cream, or uh, yeah, burn cream here. Uh, more anti-itch stuff, um, alcohol, some instant cold packs for, you know, sprains or ankles or something like that. Um, some compresses, a lot more bags of galls in there to wrap uh, anything. Some larger uh, compression pads for, uh, you know, major bleeds or something like that. Uh, CPR face mask, I think some antacids uh, there. Uh, I also have down in here, get that back in there, uh, tape as well, and here I have some, this was bought at REI, just kind of a little miscellaneous medication thing with uh, um, Tylenol and Advil, things in there like that. Uh, these are actual insect repellent uh, bug bracelets, I've never tried them out, uh, but I picked them up real cheap somewhere, so I figured I'd keep them and have them on hand. And then inside this, and one of the things that really sold me on this bag was it came with uh, this little three ring binder here. I'm able to keep all my medications like Tylenol, um, Ibuprofen, uh, Imodian, Claritin, uh, Advil in these little bags like this. And of course I got more room to expand. So these are nice little clear bags that you know you can quickly access something. So I don't always have the, the luxury of having a medicine cabinet at home. Unfortunately, I have to carry everything with me. And once you buy it, you, you're stuck with, you know, a six month or a year supply of it. So this is how I store it. And this is how I keep it all together. And uh, I think this bag is going to work for me. It's a fishing bag, uh, the Legends. But it has a lot of um, different compartments and a different hose. And I still got plenty of room even after I put this stuff back in here. I can add some more uh, uh, like 5x9 like triangular bandages or a SAM splint or something like that. So it's a minor trauma first aid kit. Uh, like I said, this would probably be the second one I would grab uh, for a car accident or something like that. Uh, but if I cut myself with glass or, or something like that or on a piece of metal, I would grab that little red one first. So there you have it. It's uh, a start and that's what I keep with me and that's what I carry. Uh, every day. Until next time.